Good afternoon, everybody. This is Karen Marks. All right, we're filming from the stairwell. <laughs> you gotta love it. All right, listen to this. Okay, so we're kicking out um, hiking boots. Now listen, it was 75 degrees today. I am about to go to Pink Now National Wildlife Refuge. And the only thing I need to prepare, I, I threw on jeans because, you know, once you stand still and start filming, it'll get a little bit cool in the evening. Um, the only important things, remember, parrot jewelry. Woo, gotta love it. Little blue parrots, cute as pie, and um, and bug spray. And I might add, of course, I have to have my pink lipstick. And I'm gonna show you Freedom of the Parrot really quick. Yeah, so um, if anybody wonders, I know nothing about cameras and I have no interest in learning them. I have the Canon Power Shot. This is my third camera. I started filming, it'll be seven years in, well, let me say this. 2013, eight years taking pictures, but um, seven doing videos this June. But Canon PowerShot, what it is, I shoot strictly in auto. Woo! Auto, that's it. I did shoot in sport for a while, uh, just for the heck of it. This is a peacock tote bag I got from my neighbor upstairs, Connie. She said it didn't match anything. It's my favorite bag. And then I always have to carry a film bag because I need all my batteries. Um, I've got to have extra film. And what else? Uh, I, I'm not going to carry, I'll carry an umbrella, but not, not a rain jacket today. Hey, Freedom. Freedom's been sleeping all day. And I was going to go to the Pinckney tomorrow, but I thought, shoot, I hadn't been out there. Hey, Freedom. Uh, I'll open up this door for a second. I haven't been out to Pinckney, you know, in the more of the four to five o'clock range. Let's see, right now it's 4.05. And the reason I want to go out there now is because I like to document everything that's going on at Ibis Pond and Star Pond. Now, unfortunately, Star Pond had a failed nesting season last year. It's going to have a failed one this year because of frog's bit. It's a plant that's, uh, oh, it's, well, even though it's a plant that could be here, it's fine, but it's still considered basically invasive as far as choking the whole entire pond, and they, um, they put a moat, they cut a moat through, you know, around the center part of Star Pond last year, but it wasn't enough. The, the whole thing needs to be eradicated. So the birds are not going to be able to nest there this year because they have no food. Um, hey, Freedom, you're such a good boy. Yeah, Freedom's had a very, very quiet day. Okay, we're going to shut this. But, um, oh, I didn't finish out. The reason I'm going out to picnic right now is that all the birds have to come in and roost for the night. Okay, so it's, it's whoops, we're not trying to shut this at the same time and film. It's a rookery, Bibus Pond, pick me on. Um, but birds have to rest at night. Plus, if they're sitting on eggs, you know, they're going to continue their incubation, etc. And because all the birds have to come in to roost for the evening, you have a good chance, especially start around 5, 5.30. Now, because it's light out, uh, they may not be flying until later. But I'll get out there about 4.30 and um, it'll be cool. Um, I would say over the last couple of years, because I've been doing pictures out there for 10, basically... Ibis Pond used to have up to four to 500 birds, but they've lost a lot of trees, but um, it's still amazing. And then I've been super on the ball, walking all the way out to Nini Chapin Pond. Now there's very few birds out there. A couple great blue herons, a few great egrets, snowies, very few. I mean, when I say few, I'm talking like three. <laughs> and then there was actually bufflehead ducks out there just literally a week and a half ago, which is really unusual. Bufflehead ducks and... Uh, I'm trying to remember if I saw, oh, hooded mergansers, I think. And, and then of course there's a mom gator out there with like eight little babies. Woo. Okay. So Freedom's going to hold down the fort here. Freedom, I love you. You're my good boy. All right. So Freedom won't get outside today, but he'll get out tomorrow. Okay. Freedom, you take a big nap. Okay. Okay. All right. We're signing off live. With... Freedom gets a look at himself. Isn't that funny? He was standing on the bed. St. Augustine Alligator Farm, man, it's, we're coming up on six years since I've been there. I need to get back down there. And Fred and I were dying to get to Florida. We love Florida. It's our favorite place to go. And he's been to North Carolina. He's been to Georgia many times for Feather Friends Forever, where I adopted him from. There's one of our adoption pictures. And um, that, was, that was like a year and a half after we hadn't been there. We went to visit. And then on um, Fred, where else have you been? What are we leaving out? I don't know. We're leaving out... Oh, he's been... Well, he's passed through Mississippi. He's been to Arkansas, Missouri, uh, Alabama, 
until we pass through, I guess, right? We've done it all. Woo! But we went nowhere in 2020. Just absolutely nowhere. All right, Freedom probably spots a cat in the yard because he just made a move. <laughs> all right, we're signing off. It's Cameron. Have a great day.